are all sitting here shooting the shed. What up, what up, what up? I'm DJ Deuce. I'm here with my man Carlos and my man all the way down from Nova Scotia, Bam Boo. All right, we have a story here. I got caught watching the uh, Neverland documentary. Have you guys caught this documentary at all? Carlos, have you, man? Of course I have. You, Bam, you caught, did you catch this thing? I, 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 I know what it's about. I haven't watched it all. You haven't watched it all? all to right. be honest. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's one of those. It's one of those. You know, after a certain amount of years of uh, you know, him dying or uh, out of the spotlight scenario, um, it's one of those that you know throws you off a little bit. Detailed. It's uh, you know, different emotions. Who are you mad at? Who do you point the finger at? But at the end of the day, everyone's blamed. You know, for a little bit uh, of being a part of this. You know, this situation. Yeah. Uh, well, for myself, the documentary was. Uh Disturbing how a parent could allow this to go. That's right. Hey, yeah. Bam, Bam you got, you're a parent? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Being a, from a parent's point of view, I'm a single man. My point of view, trust me, I'm an angry fella. This should never happen. Uh, what's your point of view on this one, Bam, on, as a parent? As, as a parent? Yeah, as a parent. It should have never happened. It should have never happened. You know, it should have never got to that point. Okay. You know, I, I feel the parents dropped the ball, you know, even if he was the type of person everybody claims, claims him out to be, it's portraying him to be, whatever the case may be. Parents' job, sole purpose, sole job is to raise, I agree. take care of their kids, teach them right from wrong, and they dropped the ball. You know what I mean? I think they should be charged just as long, or at least their character should be being assassinated right now as well. Oh, I, I, I personally, so, personally, I think, know. I think it is. I think it is. I think anyone that's watched this has judged them, you know? My mm. point of view is oh. that Michael should have gotten help and the parents should go to jail. <laughs> he should have got help. He hid his help. To some, he looks like a saint. Still does, though. Well, looking at those, uh, that video and looking at the pictures and the images, I was just like, wow, you look like a, like... <laughs> and some of those pictures, it was like, you are the devil. Uh, yeah, yeah. But that's, Always wearing I, red, too. I know, I know. I, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I was just, you know, my question is, does the influence of the music change the perspective of the person or the, the illusion of the person? Because I was never a huge fan of Michael. So when the first time he got, you know, was getting convicted or getting charged with these uh, sexual assault charges with kids, I was like, fuck, yeah, he did it. And I got a lot of backlash mm. back then. You know, to the point where people want to fight. And there's nothing to fight about. I don't have facts. They don't have facts. What's the hell's the point of arguing about this, right? But, you know, do sure. you think the influence of music make people, makes people think differently about this person? Well, let's see, the influence of music. I, music is an illusion. You know, music is just music. You know, the man, that, the, that, that was the man's job. The man's job was to entertain you. Yeah, he did one hell of a job doing it. And, That's right. And, and, you know, because, you know, an actor is an actor in a movie that still don't make you want to let your child sleep with it. You You're no, a hundred percent right. But now, you know? now as a fan or or a person in general, do you mm. like? I I've heard of like a lot of radio stations banned his music from being played again. Is that right? Understandable. Understandable. Uh, yeah, understandable. Under, do you do you agree, Carlos? Is everybody's entitled. Everybody's entitled. Everybody's entitled. I, that's a fact. That's and, a fact. You know, I mean, some people feel strongly about you know, the allegations. So they're definitely going to respond the way they want to. And, and that's cool, you know. But, you know, what, what, what do you think the ultimate result's going to be? Because they're banning his music, they're going to stop his money flow? I mean, if you do your research or whatever the case, and if I'm right, yeah. if I'm right, I believe, I believe Michael Jackson owns the rights to all the Beatles music. So the man's never going to stop making money. Well, you got what I'm saying? And he also and has, he has, you know, also has like, I think if I'm right, he has the top two out of the 25 albums sold worldwide in the world. Top two. His Thriller album and his Bad mm -hmm. album. So regardless if his money you know, flow stopped yesterday, I think he made enough of it already. <laughs> uh, well, this is true, you know. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, the allegations are true. I believe it should come to light and, and everything should be there. It should be out there, you know, you know, because no, no child should be getting 
molested and treated the way they was for, for all this time in their life, right? True so, enough. Yeah, but I just think the parents should be right up there with the problem. Oh, you know absolutely. I mean? Because if, if the parents did not allow this, then it would have never got that. It would we wouldn't be going we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Um so, no, I'm just you're absolutely right about all this. I Me, mean, at the end of the day, it's the um when you first watch this, or you probably watched you said you vote watched some of it, you what pissed you off the most? Was it the actual parents itself is what pissed you off the most? For me, it's the parents because I'm a parent. Okay, you know? okay, and okay. Me, and I'll be honest, I'm being biased on that on that as well. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, certain situations, some people react certain ways, some people yeah, think yeah, certain no, no, ways, no. and not everybody thinks the same. So Because I look, know, I look deeper I'm into being, it. You know I'm being biased. I, you are being biased. I, I try to look at it at every point of view. Like, because at first I was like, you know what I mean? It was one of those situations where I was... I was like, you know, you try to see every angle, right? Take a step back. It's a four-hour fucking documentary, so you have a lot of thinking to do while you're watching this. So it's one of those, I under he, The way that the kids explained it was, especially I saw caught some of the Oprah show because it I was the wrong one I watched. They were saying that, like, it's pretty much, you know how, like, in, in some of those other weird documentaries you watch, you know, Bam, you know which one I'm talking about? You know how, like, he, he mm. works on building up the trust? But the way these kids explained right. it was, they already had their trust because of, of a mega superstar that he was. So the influence was already there before the day they met each other. So you see what I'm saying? So it's like they were explaining that the work was technically kind of put in. You know what I mean? And how much of a good guy he is and how much money he donates and this and that. You, you see the perspective of this person as a mega superstar, not the perspective of the actual person or monster that he actually is. So that he's put some work okay. into it to like, you know what I mean? Manipulate the kids, the parents, et cetera. Yeah. Don't get me yeah, wrong. I'm not agreeing with fucking I anybody mean, sleeping like, in each other's that's, beds. That's, that's, you know, that's like saying the, the government is, is, is evil as they come. But, you know what I mean? The government sits there and say, hey, we're here, we're doing good, so and so and so on. So everybody got this view about the government, but the government still do some, excuse me, some messed up things. You know what I mean? You know, you so, just swear on this. Like, Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not. It's not. Michael's job to a say, hey, take care of your child. It's your job to take care of your child. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what is put in your face. Your child should be. Your child well-being should be first. You know what I mean? And when no matter what's in your face, and the person is requesting to sleep with your child in his room with him, mm-hmm. that's your. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Well, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? There's no if and buts about it. A red flag. Well, I was thinking okay. back. For for me though, the look at you. You're a parent. I'm a parent. So if somebody was asking you, a celebrity, to uh, come over, wine and dine you, uh, get to know him. Now you, let's say it was Michael. Let's just might as well because right. it was documentary documented that he had a bad childhood and he didn't really get to live his childhood because he was always on the road singing with his brothers and stuff like that. And now mm-hmm. you have a three-year-old or five-year-old kid, son or daughter, and he, you see them interacting and they're having a good old time. Personally, I think he has right. some problems in his head itself. Um, you know, that wanted to be surrounded by kids as opposed to adults. But what would mm-hmm. you do? You're, you're seeing an innocent person with your son or daughter having fun. Sometimes, as a parent, you want to let the fun continue. As in my point of view, though, I wouldn't let, regardless, the sleepovers, the I'll be in the next Fuck room. No, man. I would never allow my kid to be anywhere else, either that, beside that, me. And that, and you're proving my point right that's now. That's right. That's what right. What you're saying. Bad, bad. The child welfare should be in first and place. Well, bad. Well, 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 let's, let's give each other. asking to have a sleepover with your child should be an indication of a red flag. There's a sl- here, there's the whole, it's to another. I don't care another. who you are, where you from. This is not going to happen. And you know what? I don't even think I want to be around you. You get what I'm saying? But it's to another level. There's a sleepover. But you trust the person because he's a celebrity. He's this bigger-than-life kind of person. Now, right. But usually a sleepover like that is, oh, they was there, my child slept over at, her friends from school yeah, yeah. house and something happened, right? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you can't foresee something like that. 
but you literally got this man looking you in the face asking to spend time in his room with your child. Do you, do you, want, me, do you want me to tell you? you... If you don't see that, something's wrong with you too. You know what I'm saying? Because any person in their right damn mind will be like, what? Did you just ask me? You, you know what I mean? It's, it's just not appropriate. Well, no, I, at you that know? point, at that point, I would have been like, no, no, no. When can I go home? But, th- but that's my point. And these parents allow this. I mean, they, the lady stayed upstairs while the son's downstairs. You know what I mean? Like, this don't make no sense. You want to drive? You want me to tell you what drives me crazy? This is okay. No, okay. it's not okay. You, you know why? We're in the same house. My... I go, why? Well, this is one. Go I got. I got one thing. What drove me nuts? And it was. It was. It was. It was shown partially on the, on the doc. You know, they interviewed the kids before. Did he touch you? No, no, no. And there was housekeepers that admitted and saw, and witnessed, certain things in that house. And it feels like that got overshadowed and overput and just swept aside. Of course it did. But goddamn, it's a witness. Michael, of course it did. It got overshadowed because everybody was saying, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. And the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids. But nobody was actually pointing the finger. Because I bet you any amount of money, if they would have turned to the parents and said, you know what, we're charging you for neglect on your child. Your, your child welfare, you know the truth, would have came out long, long time ago. Well, he did He out. did input the fear to them. If Into you, the kids. Yeah, if, if they find out about you and me, then we'll both be put in jail. That's right. So he and did, but that, but he, he input it, he planted that seed. Michael's, tell, Michael's telling the kids this. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Michael's saying, hey, they put us both in jail. Blah, 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 blah. That's right. When did it, when, when in this world... Did it become where your kid is more afraid of someone else than you? You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but do they don't I look afraid. The That's fear. the whole point. God they, in you, child. They don't you look afraid. You better forget the police. Forget this person. I'm going to do something to you if you don't tell the truth. You get what I'm saying? And that shit will never happen. You get what I'm saying? Doing by letting someone else manipulate your child. You, you didn't do your job. You know no, no, saying? absolutely. It's I agree. I agree. I agree. Kids. I agree. But it's kids. not as black and white like his music, you know? Like No. I to me one mother was naive. Yes. And then the other was yeah, she even to did, to, to want to use the kids fame and Michael's fame in order to you know, get a better so life. So so now so now so now who's worse? Who's worse? Right right now, I don't. You know what I mean? I, I don't think we, they know? should go after the dead man. I think they should go after the parents, especially on one, the one that left Australia to come to the U.S. to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, help the kid with the dancing and all the other stuff. And you know, Michael is going to be there to support. And one of the letters that they were showing, that Michael said, you know, if you ever need any financial aid. Please don't hesitate to ask. I will be more than glad able to help. Ah, it's still it's crazy. So it, it's he. There, there was a lot of things that you know they. Um, there's a bribe and there's, you know, comfort. I'm there for you, not your child as well. And he invested some times into speaking to the parents. Absolutely. He wasn't. He didn't seem like the creep that just you know <laughs> snuck the kid through the back. You know, he actually did invest time so let, into tricking the parents. So let me ask a. So let me ask you, let me ask you guys a question. Sure. This is a hypothetical question. Who abused the child more? The parents or Michael? Who who abused the child more? The parent. Michael. Who do you think abused the child more? Michael. The parent. It, it, the parents. Fuck that. The parents the parents, uh, the parents they, they abused the child more because What parents stuck after, their dicks in his mouth? No, no, but the parents there to protect it from no, happening. The, the parents, Just protect the parents didn't do their job, and then the parents got had the nerve to parade their kids around on national TV to say this and that and that and this. That's abuse, bro. You know what I mean? It is. It is. It is. It absolutely is abuse. But you're gonna you're asking me which one's worse? Yeah, like come on. Which one? Which one's worse? What do you think? Worse? Let me put the my parents, dick in your mouth and tell me what was worse. Think about it. Okay. What do you All think right. he's having so nightmares he, of? He, he, His he, mom he, letting he, him go play some he, video he, games, or the Mike, big black penis that's hitting Michael, him in the face? Mike, it's a white penis. Michael put the dick in. Michael put the dick in. His mouth. Why did you get that <laughs> one in the <laughs> face, too, Carlos? <laughs> yeah, I, heard, I, heard, I, heard you, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. Michael put the dick in his mouth. You know, as you said. Okay, but the, the question is, I said black. Carlos said white. Which one is it? Huh? 
<laughs> Carlos said white. I said black penis. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think Carlos got it in the face too. But go ahead. <laughs> no, but which, 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 which is worse? The mother putting the kid on, putting the kid on. Yeah, but she was doing it with good intentions, you know, though. Now, this she was doing it with blind with intentions. This, this kid's got to live with this. You understand what I'm saying? That everybody's gonna look at this child and go, yes. "Which one is it? Why are you crying wolf?" You get what I'm saying? But the thing is, she didn't do it by going, okay, well, I don't care what really, really happens to him as long as this comes out of it. She, didn't, I don't think they were looking at it that way. So here, here's my thing, right? The guy's dead. Regardless if it's <laughs> true or not, I personally believe it did happen. So uh, do I. But suing for money at this point doesn't... Okay, 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 okay. You're right. I don't know. I, it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't help You're their right. cause. It does not help their cause. Right. Yeah, but you know. I, I, I hope they're doing it for the right reason. It is good. I, I personally think it's right. You, the truth come out. Have you guys been in trouble? Because when you talk to a lawyer, the lawyer ain't looking at getting justice. They're looking at getting some cash. So when it comes to suing, I bet you talk to a lawyer and you're like, listen, blah blah blah. I got sexually assaulted by Michael Jackson. What do you think the lawyer's gonna say? I think we should do this, you know, pro bono. I'm like, nah, screw it. Try to get some money out of it. I personally think that's what the lawyers push this thing. Now, does it make the kid look a little bit off after all these years? You know what I mean? The one kid's more famous than the other, right? Yeah, Wayne is more famous that's than right. James or Jimmy or whatever his name is. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, it looks like he's done well for himself. You know, he's done stuff for Britney Spears and Cirque du Soleil and NSYNC. So, like, like, really, is he really the one looking for more cash or fame? Really? I don't know. I don't know. It, okay, like you said, he might not be looking for cash or fame, but this, the doubt is cash there. Like, you, you get what I'm the saying? The whole world's he, based he, on he cash, though, came, dude. He already came out He already came out and said nothing happened. Okay, so what would he have done? Something happened. What would so he have done for you to make this look like different? It raises doubt. But, okay, what would he have done differently for you in your eyes? In your eyes. He went to court and did what? What would he do differently that would make you, you know, not give him that doubt. Did not give. Well, if, if like I said, if it truly happened. Yes. Right. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just saying, if, if it truly happened, happened, if you're so going, you, know, you don't he, believe it happened. He should. It, you know, it should have came out, and and he should have been out. He should have. It came out. This what happened. This and that. No matter the outcome on what it happened, mm -hmm. he still said what he said. His piece. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And, and this instance right now, he's he's telling two different pieces. You but know, if I gave you, if you gave, if, if I, a coin, ben, you get what I'm saying? I see. What are you saying? Because he was a child, because he was a child, he was a liar? I see your point. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because he, you, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, he, he should, he's a child. He knew what he was saying. No, but that child. He's wrong. I'm not saying he's right, but he knew what he was saying. Well, not, but now that, that he's an adult, people who's going to respect him more because he's an adult and he's saying it now because nope. he's an adult. Yeah, actually, you know, I think I'm, so. Yeah. No, but, I think because, it ate at him long enough that but, he had to come out and say something. I think the child was also afraid to. The doc says it's his friend and he loved him still, which is probably mm -hmm. true. So you guys as my boys, mm -hmm. I'm not going to rat you guys out to go to jail. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's like, but like, you, like but that's what you say. But I'm I just. Him. He was my friend. Right? Yeah, but then. If in then, the documentary, did he say, did, in the documentary, did he clarified that Michael's not my friend and I still don't love him? Not at all. Never. No, all but, right then. but, okay, you so, see what I'm saying. I, I don't know what part you watched. I think it was in part one when they're talking about the first time he got accused by one kid, I can't remember his name, Brett, I think, or something like that. And that was in 93. Those two kids were asked to testify on Michael's behalf, mm -hmm. and they did. But Michael kind of also, you know, wasn't paying attention to them, but then they started paying attention to the kids, you know, calling that. them up, kind of sugarcoating. Hey, yes, I didn't take the apple off the teacher's desk kind of thing. Don't forget that. That's what, to me, he was trying to do when he kept on calling. And then after he got acquitted <laughs> from it, he, he um, you know, still showed them some attention until then he had to marry Lisa Marie to basically show the world yeah, I don't like it. Is it just right? That I like a woman, right? So everything that basically now that I look, I was like, you know, I was around 13 and all of this was happening and I wasn't really paying attention. Only thing I really was paying attention to was this guy had great music, had good music, started falling, but I gave him his okay. props for that before. Bam, bam. 
We've mm. been we've been to Dominican a few times together, right? Mm-hmm. Do they remove that Michael Jackson show from the Dominican? I don't know. That, that was in Acapulco, uh, in like, you think, do, Cuba too. Are, are it's you, everywhere. It's everywhere. everywhere. Same guy. Going to remove it? Are they? Do you think they will? They're remove not going to remove it. That brings people to the know. resort. They, they might. You you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? It this is extra. Do they but, replace it with Queen? No, but hold on, hold on. Freddie Mercury. Hold, hold on. There was besides uh, besides the week you were there. That was the best show that they had. Hands down. Hands down. A bunch of kids were jumping on stage. <laughs> 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 but that was the best you know, show. Like in Cuba, all the shows during the but nighttime yeah, but, but, were but horrible. Then it brings me back to the fact of I kind of like I the Magic before. Show. You know, his music, his fantasy is an intent. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's what it's only there for. And if it's good entertainment, then, you know, accept it for what it is. Now, him as a person, Michael Jackson as a person, I don't know him as a person. I don't know if he's done these things or not. The only people who know what was done are the people who's actually making these allegations. Do you think? You you get what I'm saying? (laughs) You know, and you making these allegations from both sides of the coin. Oh, Michael Jackson didn't, didn't do anything to me. He's my friend. I love them. Now it's, oh, I'm older. Michael Jackson loved me, but he did this to me. You get what I'm saying? So, and, and what sense of that coming out of your mouth is going to make me, which one should I believe with you? You get what I'm saying? I believe what which I one? believe, and you I should... believe you did it. Now, these are just our opinions, you, you, by you, the way. You know what I mean? My opinion. And my opinion's always wrong. But you know which one? Which one should I believe? I, I to be honest with you, believe the I one that's know. in your fucking all gut. Know, no, all I know, I don't, I don't, I can't. I'm not gonna discredit this child or this you man. No, I'm really disappointed you because as a Prince fan, I expected you, know? you to throw Michael under the bus a little bit more. You know, but, but, what, I, but, but, but what I do know, but what I do know is his parents didn't do their job and they abused that child. And the parents did admit to know. it that they didn't do their jobs. Yeah. They didn't do their job. They admit it. They you admit know, it. I think the, the Australian mom, like, she's getting boycotted from her family, too, from, from what I remember. Oh, she that. destroyed the whole family. The yeah. dad ended up committing suicide because he was... Uh, that was because of Michael? No, yeah, pretty much because oh. uh, the kid and the sister and the mom took off. Divorce happened. Dad was all destruct. Got ill. For a big Ooh. guy, they hung, he Ooh, hung himself. The, What's that? The Australian, the Australian uh, guy. Yeah, Wade. 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 His dad. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe you oh, should have wow. watched the documentary. Yeah. The whole thing. The Stop whole defend- four hours. Stop defending him before I come see you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Bam, as a question, as a DJ, I got a wedding coming up, April 6th. Do I play Michael Jackson? Oh, honestly, I honestly, I do not know, my friend. That's honestly, my dilemma now. Honestly, I have this I nice mix, know. Billie Jean's in it. Do I skip that song and move on? I'd say you play it. You, you say know? I play it? Yeah. You know, I, I, and then, I don't and know. then, I, and I, then I, when they dance to it. Ask a bride and the groom if they want Michael play. It, actually, you know what? Is it, is it really a topic it's of discussion? Only, it, it's, on, it's only one way to uh, decide that. The people who's having the wedding, yeah. they ask the bride and the groom. But it, it, is it like this played or not? And and. Because to be honest with you, they're paying, they're paying for your time, and they're paying for the music that plays. But you now, just that's my so point. They get to choose. That's my point. This has now become a topic to now, as a DJ, I have to ask the bride and groom, do you want me to play Michael Jackson or not? I'm going to call the radio station well, tomorrow. That's crazy. You see how you phrase the question, Joe? Well, now i got to ask the bride and groom if I could play Joe. It's not about Michael Jackson. This is a fucking their wedding. Do you get what I'm saying? So if anything, Michael should be asking if he be played in their wedding. You get well, what I'm well, I remember it's, when I started you, you, when I started the business. Remember. When I got into the business, the number one guy that was asked not to be played at the time, and I had nothing against what he did in life. It was just because he was a little kid. It was Justin Bieber. Please don't play any fucking mm-hmm. Justin Bieber. Now the older he got, trust me, he got recommended and you know requested a lot, and it's been a different story over over the time. Because it was not bubblegum music nah, anymore. Nah, man, he has some good tracks. I totally get it. But now I'm just saying, this is how like touchy shit has gotten now, right? Like, it's because you know, like the influence yeah. of music is an emotion, and emotion, you know, c- can create reaction. Do I press play? Right. You know, you catch five people trying to get into the beat, and all of a sudden, like, oh fuck, you know, they, you know, or you know, you know how people are. One person says, fuck this, right. other people hop yeah. on that train, right? It, 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 
I mean, you're going to have either two responses. Is either they're going to be like, "Woo, get up and dance," or they or do I just play and said I never watch? What I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Then the backlash on you is the fact that they're going to be like, "Well, this DJ is unsensitive." Blah blah blah. (laughs) You got what I'm saying? Which I kind of am sometimes. (laughs) Just don't play uh, uh, that song about the children. Heal the world. Don't play that. They song. play that <laughs> shit. They play that shit, Dominican. Don't play that. And it's true that the kids do go on stage. We are that? the world. Don't play. We are the world because then yeah. it's not going to look they good. Do go on stage. He touches well, all we are the, the kids. World is not a Mike. <laughs> See, that, that right there. We are the world is not a Michael Jackson song. Wow. Oh, well, it's. Didn't he write it? He wrote it. Him and Stevie Wonder, they wrote it together. Song, well, it's because Steve, when, he, when, when Michael was and being busy, Stevie couldn't see him. You know, we are the world. Not a Michael Jackson song. Only reason why they associated with Michael is because Michael was the biggest star in the song. True. You get what I'm saying? A daughter is never as big as Michael. Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles. You know what I mean? There's a powerhouse of stars in that song. Do you? So that song, We Are the World. What, what Motown? You can't deny that started song. Motown. How can you say he's not Hold the bigger star than Michael? I think he's definitely never. I, I still think the Jackson 5 was bigger, but whatever. I'm just saying. Jack- do you think he teamed up with two blind what? guys so they couldn't catch him what he was doing? Ooh. Do you think they teamed up with Ray Charles and Stephen Wonder, so no, he, so no, they couldn't no. catch him what he was doing? No. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> How many people was in this song? Man, we are the world. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not that sensitive. That song didn't really get to me. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure Thriller came yeah. out after that. Thriller at '83. I thought we, 80, we what, are the world is '84. Thriller is. Thriller album came out in '82. Okay. We are the world's after that. Is it? Oh yeah. Ooh, Michael? Yeah. Or, oh, he had hits after that. No, but I mean, We Are the World came out a lot later than that, than 82. So yeah. Here, yeah. Here's, here's, my, here's my thing, right? This is just me. To me, I think he did it. Regardless, I feel sorry for, the, for the, the people that did the documentary. I feel sorry for his kids, his own. Um, Especially, you know, I know, I feel bad for his own. That's a, like, oh, you know, they're dude, trashing yeah, his dad, cool. and his That's dad right. can't. Like, to be honest, I, I do feel bad for the kids. Me like, too. Don't get me wrong, I feel bad for the kids, the grown men, you know, like y'all were just saying that one of them committed suicide, and it's horrible. No, no, I, I feel you sorry know, for his kids, that. for for Michael's own kids, you know, Prince, Paris, and Michael, uh, whatever blanket. Um, yeah, it is called blanket. Mm. One of the kids was called blanket. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So either way, I feel sorry for those guys because their dad's being trashed, and that's not fair to them, right? Uh, they knew him as his dad, and what if yeah. What he did with yeah. them is, is what he did with them. But for me, well, I, I, I will personally, not, it's, it's not, I still play his music. I will still play his he's, music he's, at home. He's, it's, it's a constant, it's a constant uh, uh, accuse. You know what I mean? It's not like he's being trashed by different things. This is the same issue that's been following this man for, for, for years. Yeah. Okay. So you there's truth chance. to it then. There has to be some truth to it. I, I don't care if Macaulay Culkin comes out and goes, ah. Do you he think? Didn't do okay, it. I want to ask you guys that. Do you think he touched Macaulay Culkin? Oh fuck yeah. Do you think, Bam? Was he was know. he was he home alone with Michael? I don't. I don't know. Because Macaulay I mean, Culkin ended up alone. turning into home alone. Macaulay Culkin <laughs> ended up turning into a weirdo, right? He's a little strange, a little bit of drugs. Is he trying to kill the pain? So, are they being touched? To me, yeah. as an I artist, yeah, he did. He did get a little weird, you know. No. Yeah. I was a as Michael as an artist. I you can't erase from history. You just can't take from history. As a person, I think this <laughs> is probably one of the last times I will mention his name. True. Very true. As an artist, though, you can't take him away from history. It's like you're saying, oh, you know, Elvis Presley wasn't the best at his time because he was all coped up. No, he still. His music will still live on, regardless. My nine-year-old daughter knows who the hell Elvis Presley is. Fuck, I hate Elvis, but go ahead. <laughs> I can't stand his shit. Ooh, Elvis wait, Presley. Anyways. Wait. Everybody knows who's... Who, well, you can't take... That's, that's true. You won't be able to erase it. Yeah, but know? the radio stations are not trying to erase it. Okay. Well, it's just like... They can't. Just like the WWE er- tried to erase Chris Benoit for the stuff that he did you know but the more you try to erase it the more he, it comes out oh the probably more, the more that's people true. are going that's to true. research that's true that's right? true someone who's 15 and you can erase numbers i'm telling you when i check billboard charts or number one charts or in the most sold you know albums of all times you can't erase michael jackson from there you can't you can't you can't you, you can't uh, put it to mute musically you can't erase it 
No, he's there. Because he started off he start, he started off very young with a super band. That's true. Which is a That's a fact. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You can't you can't mention Michael Jackson without Janet Jackson. You understand what I'm saying? So no matter how you look at it, this man's name is never going to disappear. No. You get what I'm saying? In the history books, never. You know. And then just talk about the string of hits. He outsold Elvis at one point. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? I think he outsold the Beatles too. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, he did. So, he did. I mean. You know, I know, I know you might not fans, know, you, you might know? not know this answer because we've been to the Beatles bar in Cuba and you didn't know shit when we were there, but, <laughs> nope. but yeah. we, we had the Beatles bar and they ain't playing nothing from the Beatles. They didn't, uh, I don't, you wouldn't even know if they did anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know shit. Anyways, mm. I was checking up when I was checking up top charts, top most albums sold of all times. I did not know that the Eagles are two albums. Yes, they, they, two albums yes, in the like, top are, four. Yep. Yep. Right. To this day, they still hold the record. They hold one record, and then the next one is like, I think number three is their greatest hits album. God mm-hmm. damn. I, I, if I wouldn't have checked myself, I would have never known that. Hotel California does it. Oh, great track. Great track. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm. I, I like the Eagles. I think they're okay, but I wouldn't. <laughs> Dude, we could have went through all night. I still would have never guessed that band to being that close at the top. <laughs> like, it's insane. Absolutely insane. All right, bam, to another topic. I don't know if any of you guys yeah. followed this because I haven't. I've been, I'm sick of it because it's been this bullshit has been around since I was a kid. Um, do you guys know the story about R. Kelly? Oh, Lord have mercy. R. Kelly? You know the story? R. I don't know. Kelly. I, I watched a bit of it. From my understanding, he has two young girls that are living with him currently, and their parents are somehow battling some shit. And these two young girls are pretty much telling their mom to shut the fuck up. I'm staying with R. Kelly. That's I could be kind of wrong, but that's what I caught on in the news. And I saw him crying on some sort of talk show not too long ago, having this make this breakdown in half that uh, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> my understanding, he married Aaliyah. R. Kelly. He married okay. Aaliyah. R. R. Kelly's situation is, uh, mm, there. Like, dude, there's jokes. Like, I will pee on you. Like, like, didn't Dave yeah, Chappelle destroy him? Jokes. There's a lot of this, but R. Kelly married. Um, if y'all remember, R. Kelly yeah, that's what Carl. I was trying to say. You yeah. interrupted me every yeah. two yeah. seconds. I said Aaliyah. Yeah, Carl tried <laughs> to bring that up. Yeah. Yeah, he married Aaliyah when he was when she was very young. Fourteen. You know what I mean? And right from, from that point Back on, and forth. R. Kelly always had a little shadow or a little Agreed. black cloud over his head. You know what I mean? Yeah. And everything he did, it was scrutinized and watched and this and that. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm feeling like R. Kelly's a little eccentric. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? A little diva? You know, he's a little eccentric. I, I, I don't know, a little eccentric because do uh, you remember the up is not the up is smoke. Uh, the one with Jay-Z. Uh, yeah, with Jay. Yeah. Because uh, they had to tour the, uh, what's that, uh, Best of Both Worlds tour. That's right. You, you know, Fiesta. Jay-Z separated himself halfway through that, you know, for yeah. particular reasons. I'm not quite sure. There was of, never, the reasons but, were never really brought yeah. out and exposed. But yeah, he did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they yeah. did the tour by himself, brought some other yeah. guests. That's right. So there had to be something back there that wasn't revealed that was like, he saw something like, yo, get the fuck away from me, right? Like, You, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. And it's and he's being he's he's a dude supposedly a dude from the street that ain't went to college, and if he can read this back then, mm-hmm. and sooner or later something, what if you're doing something, it's gonna catch up to you. You know what I mean? So. No, I agree. I agree. I don't know, Carlos. You, did you have you been following this? At I all, didn't or? even know about that part about the tour. You, know, you didn't know about the tour no, yet. I, 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 I knew like basically again. I'm not trying to hate or anything like that or uh, condone what the heck they're doing. The music is the music. The person is the person. I leave it at that. If you put good music out, I like it. I listen to it. What you do in your own personal life is what you do in your own personal life. You want to destroy your famous mm-hmm. career over that? You know what this best quote was, guys? The best quote he had? I'm broke. I only have $360,000 in the bank. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's broke. Three sixty in the bank. That's going away <laughs> in bail. So? Oh, no. Bail said I'm a million. Hey, What's that? I say he lying. Three sixty. I'll take three sixty. No. 
all the coke that he had to do and the payoffs of the bras that he had to pay. No, it is what it is. I don't know. That's a whole nother thing. Hold, See, on. But hold, on, hold on. Hold on. To me, R. Kelly's a little bit different because you have. Uh, again, I'm not blaming the people, but he's just taking advantage of the situation of his celebrity. You know, you got people that are going, oh, if I do this with R. Kelly, maybe I'll get a record deal. True. Why'd you think of it? What? No. I've never <laughs> met her. I'm, I'm reading up on this uh, Best of Both Worlds program. Okay, now. that's right, that's right. It was, a, it, was a, it was a criminal case and a lawsuit, and R. Kelly was banned from the tour. Yeah, because I remember, you, you know, don't, you don't, you never heard of this Carlos? No, that's where. Yeah, it was like, it was a big deal. And he had, uh, Jay ended up bringing other artists down on stage to perform, kind of make up for it. And yeah, I know. And then the rest of the tour, he wasn't with them. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I'm just yeah. saying, like, you know, sometimes in this case of the R. Kelly, he he's stupid enough to allow a 14-year-old girl or a 16-year-old yeah, girl to manipulate him. Because he, he's just looking for something. Does he not? Does that, but I heard there's video out there of him, like, bitch slapping them and stuff. No, there's a video. I think there was a video leaked of him uh, like, having nasty. sex with a girl in the studio, and she was 13 at Jesus the time. Jesus Christ. Or 16 at the time. Can't remember. That was early 2000s or late 2000s. No, are geniuses just weirdos and creeps? Or? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I'm not I that really smart, so, but I don't think like them neither, so. They think you get away with it. Oh, maybe, maybe that's maybe true. I just, to me, they just they take advantage <laughs> of being rich and famous, and you know the the situation where somebody says yes, I will do this in the hopes of getting something else could happen. Shit, I should be looking at life a lot differently then. <laughs> just it's the same thing with all the movie producers, right? They're getting all fucked because of this Me Too movement. They sat around. Yeah, no, that's everybody that's a whole... knew what what Hollywood was like. You, yeah, you go in and you want the role. You got to do something. Is that only for women? That's yeah, for women. Oh man, I don't know. And you now know they're I mean? all like, "Oh, I was yeah, promised this. Boys, I was promised it was, that." It was definitely a boys' club. You know what I mean? But that still didn't make it right. It doesn't know? make it right. And, but and, and and I'm a little sensitive to it. You know, I'm I'm a little sensitive to it because of my own little issues. You know what I mean? You know. Being a black man in Austin, you know, I mean, being a boys club, being on the outs, it's always been there for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, don't make it right. It didn't make it right that they did what they did, you know? So, and that, and that, and the funny thing about that, but boys club situation, it was across the board. It didn't just stay in Hollywood. It was in the business board rooms. It was in companies here and you, you get what I'm saying? Anywhere and everywhere. It was just everywhere. No, you know? it, it, it was everywhere. Like, no no offense or anything like that, right? But their women sometimes did use that as a manipulating employee to get promotions. I'm not hating on them, but I'm just saying that could have been happening a long time ago. But, mm. you know, it's up to yeah, the well, person. It's hard to bring, it's it's hard up to to bring the, that to light when you, when, when you don't have somebody sitting at the table that's willing to back you up. No, but it, but it, it, but it's up to that person. So if I was a, a CEO of somewhere and this hot, attractive person came by and is like, oh, you know, kidding around, flirting around, and stuff like that, and you yeah, know, I end up doing something CEO stupid. Nice was, uh, okay, perfect example. Like you said, there's a bunch of CEOs sitting around, and a hot, uh, and a sexy leader walks by. They all got something to say. Ooh, sexy, this, that, that, and another, and another, right? Okay. You correct me if I'm wrong. That's what you just said. Right? Yeah, but what happens when you do do that, and the secretary then goes, "Okay, uh, I'm either going to come out and say you did this, or hook I get a raise, up. hook me up, or I, you know, become vice president or CEO or okay. whatever, anything like that. What happens then when you're trying to protect your family? Your, you know, your, like you know, let's say you're married and this." Oh. You're, you're going okay. to cave to them. Right. You're going to cave. You don't right. want the shit getting so, out? You're going right, to cave. A bunch of CEOs around the table. they saying, oh, somebody sexy this, this, this. You know, secretary say, hey, listen, give me this or give me that. Or, or I'm else. going to expose you. Correct? Yeah. yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So and obviously now, you're one to now, save your now, ass. I need, I, need, I need you to think of that same scenario and put the CEO's wife sitting right next to him. Do you, do you, now put the CEO's wife sitting right next to him. Do you think he would have said that shit? No. 
Okay, then. So he wouldn't have been in that position he was in if he didn't sit okay. there and think he could see that shit. I like, I like the way you guys are thinking. I, I have a whole... Make a great study no, you're 100% you right. But I have a whole different view on this. Like, when you guys are talking, I'm thinking about, like, what if you are who you are, you know, married or not, single, whatever the case is. You're a big CEO of some company. And this hot girl comes in. And, you know, you haven't been with anybody in a while. And she uses her influences of her, you know, sexuality to get a little bit, of, uh, you know, ahead. Is that fair? No, it's not. It's not fair either. So, like, shit happens. Life's you know? really fucked up, you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 should, it shouldn't happen either. Okay, you who know, do you tip I mean, more? It, the dude not, or the girl? More, more than... Than the average, you know, and but, I agree, you know, it shouldn't happen either. Okay, well, you who, know, who do you, who? You're single and, you know, yeah. you know, she's using her little sexuality to get ahead True. and stuff like that, you know. It, 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 I find it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. Know? Everyday shit happens. People are fucking, you know, not, there's not very many honest people out there, you know. It is what it is. Who do you tip more at the bar? The guy bartender or the girl bartender? Whoever brings that drink faster. The girl probably kind of gets more tips than the bar. It's it's, you know? it's weird. Yeah, it is. It is. It is what it is. Carl you says know? whoever drinks his Coca Cola yeah. with no ice faster. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, like, damn well he, 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 he ain't tipping you know, her anyways. It's a Coke. Get tips more, you know. Coca Cola, by the way. Oh. But but then again, but then again, uh, you know, let's think about let's think about the girls for a second. I mean, some of them girls think them. Male bartenders are super hot. As long as they're getting the attention that they want, True. they're tipping like crazy too. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. I've never seen a big girl tipper, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let's put it to like this way, okay? When I was a kid, I used to blackmail my sister. <laughs> what a jerk. Okay? <laughs> we used to get both $10 allowances from uh, five from my parents and five from my grandparents. So every time she did something stupid. Every day, right? Guess what? I'm going to tell dad. And then I got her allowance. I don't know what I did with it. Probably bought a lot of Coca-Cola and candy. But, see, that's the whole entire thing. I used to bribe my own sister so I could get more money. And maybe that's why she hates me now. But... (laughs) He owes her her like 500 bucks, dude. I don't owe her. With all those $10, you fucking manipulate Get out of here. But either way, I used to... Like, you know what I mean? She... So it, it, well, at first it was her fault. Don't tell dad and I'll give you my allowance. Okay. I don't tell dad. I went to go behind the house and had a cigarette. Or I was caught with the boy. Don't tell dad. Yeah. And they used to cuss her her allowance. Either way, mm. I blackmailed her. And that happens to regardless if you're a male or a female in power. Shit. It will happen. I'm a single child. That should never happen to me. Right? That, it just mm-hmm. happens. And then... She had to blackmail me, but it didn't cost me too much because I had something on her. Either way, it happens. Nah. They did it to you. <laughs> never did. Never did. You know. Uh, you ever blackmail my, your my wife? People are violent. <laughs> my people are violent. Uh. You know, I'm a blackmail you. You get punched in the mouth. Blackmail me on that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you do, know. Do you, okay. Do you currently blackmail your wife? Like on stupid shit. Every chance I get. <laughs> huh? Give me an example. Every chance I get. Give me an example. <laughs> well, actually, I, you know what? I can't blackmail my wife because my wife was crazy like me. So, your wife is, your wife. I do try. A perfect example, I tried to blackmail her one time. Um, my wife's mother went away to visit some friends. And my wife was driving her truck. And mm-hmm. my wife was... Um, giving somebody a ride and my wife hit the bottom of the car out on a, on a dirt road, Boom, hit the bottom. I think she dented the oil pan. Yeah, that happens. Yep. And when I seen her mother, I snitched so quick because you know, what? I was kind of getting good with her mom. I was like, she drove the car while he wasn't here. My mother was like, I don't care. You just didn't yeah, want to get blamed for it. for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you knew you were getting blamed for it. So you just wanted to be the first one. Dude, out. I, I, I know. I, I kind of trying to get in good with her mom. Like, you know yeah, I mean? I'm trying. I'm trying to yeah, like. Her mom was like, I don't care. She, she break it. She pay for it. You what know? the fuck? W- wipe her, uh, wipe her shit off her nose, bud. Hold on a sec. I know how long you guys have been together for. So that means this was fairly new into the relationship when you did that. Who me? Yeah. He won the green. So card. you snitched <laughs> on your wife 
that quickly? Yep. To get in with the mom? Because I was, because I, I was on the phone with her and I told her, don't be driving people in her mother's car. She what about, car. what about, you haven't, you, know you, haven't, you, haven't, you haven't snitched on the dad yet? No. No? No, no. I haven't snitched, I haven't snitched, I haven't snitched to him yet. <laughs> you know? But then again, you know, she's not too fond of him, so, you know. I know, but it's always fun, right? It's always fun. It, it's fun to try. <laughs> Make sure you tell them try, that it ends it, at... But then it's going to backfire on me because as soon as she talks to my brother, she's going to be dropping dime on me. True, so, you know, true. Stitches get stitches, kid. I'm trying oh, to be man. You guys are all yeah. complicated over there. But just make sure you tell her the podcast ends at like 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah. All right, bam. <laughs> don't, 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 because you're, you're basically fucked yourself. Listen, <laughs> all I know is. I'll do the muffled version for you. Talking shit about my wife out of this podcast. She's before, probably next to she, she is following the fucking thing on Instagram and shit. So she's going to hear it and I'm going to get in trouble. Y'all motherfuckers trying to snitch me out right now. You're the one that ratted her out. Yo, I'm just asking <laughs> questions, man. If you're dumb enough to answer them, that ain't my fault. All I said is I blackmailed my sister. That's all I said. You're the ones all fucking... You guys are all telling, <laughs> telling us your secrets it's and shit. Right. It's, a, it's all good. My wife's sitting right here in the living room. Either way, it's a bamboo. I will tell you this much. You ratted on your wife. Yeah. That's Ooh, horrible. Oh, yeah. That's right. You should get some stitches. I don't know, man. You guys are all complicated for me. No, no. Ben, what are you up to this week? Listen. This week, uh, just work, brother. Work? Yeah, all man. right. Yeah. We should be doing, we should be shooting another podcast. We should be doing the, uh, what is it, the March Madness? Yeah. Man. You, so, don't, you don't know what? You don't, Madness? March Madness basketball? You don't watch any of that, right? He's American. Of course he does. He doesn't watch any of it. What, the American Madness? See? What, the basketball? <laughs> I don't know what the hell y'all talk about. Oh, yeah, boy. you guys, you don't watch basketball, right? No. No, see? College ball? No. You used to live closer, you, you used to live in uh, down Albany, closer to Syracuse. Yeah, I used to live in the States. Okay. I you... don't watch basketball. But you... I don't like watching these guys. <laughs> Syracuse was what, an hour away from you? Bring this up, you know? Hold on, Syracuse like was an hour away from you. Was Syracuse an hour away from you? You cut in and out. I said, was Syracuse University City, yeah. was it an hour mm -hmm. away from Albany, New York? Yep. Yeah? Yep. So you never heard about yep. Carmelo Anthony and how he took this team on the ride and won the national championship? Nope. <laughs> Their football team. You haven't heard about them either? No. This guy, when we go on vacation, they actually think he is a basketball player. That's the best part. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> oh, boy. Have you heard of the Buffalo Bills? <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. We have a couple other people that are going to come host the uh, the March Madness. I don't know much about there it. I know go. more than you, obviously, because I just take your money when we gamble, yeah. you know? You want to fill yeah, in a bracket? You want to do a bracket? I, I don't watch the games. I don't, I don't do the stats and watch the players. No, I couldn't even get him to do fantasy games, football. So you you want to do a bracket? No. He doesn't know what a bracket is. I'm telling you, he'll, he, he'll end up winning. You won't do it. It's all right, Bam. We'll get no. to get. We'll get to. No, don't worry no, about the only thing about oh, when you want to talk about sports. The only thing is, I think they mistreated Mr. Captain. That's that. That's all my. Oh, my oh boy! Don't, don't don't get me started with that bamboo. Don't get me started Capital? with that shit, man. Yes, let, 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 let's, let's get started with that. Oh, you tell boy. me, what, you don't think they mistreated that man? Oh, I think boy. he needed a haircut. I, I think you need to end that subject because this yes, is not going to be. I agree. He did need a haircut. <laughs> oh, boy. You do know he was you adopted, think, you right? You, you do know that. Oh, I'm, I'm your color. I have his jersey in my in my jersey thing. You, you know I'm a uh -huh. Niners fan. Yeah. So you, you, so you upset. I'm upset that they – no, I think he should have stayed in the fucking contract and not bought out. Everybody already told him he wasn't going to get re-signed by any other team. He chose to not re-sign or chose to opt out of his contract. He should have stayed in the league okay. one more year, done what was asked for him, showed that he gives a rat's ass, and then he could have got paid. He should have pretended that his leg was sore and he had no choice to knee. You know nah. what I mean? Fuck Come. that. He was right. He had the right to do it. Well, because it's all right. Well, right don't worry. Don't worry. Coming, coming September, me and you will watch him play, right? 
September. I know. Hey, well, I'm not saying right? the man was a great athlete. Whoa, yes, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, no, Over 98 saying. yards don't make you I'm a great saying. athlete. Just one step you know, better I'm than Jamarcus saying. Russell. Carlos, you were never really a big fan of Colin Kaepernick, from my understanding. No, because he took Alex Smith's job. And you preferred Alex Smith. There were similar players or similar, you know, yeah. abilities. Yeah. Uh, it, yes, Kaepernick had better running ability. That's right. But either way, the way he, he took over Alex Smith's job, I did not like. So this this is with or without <laughs> kneeing. This doesn't matter. This is just an athlete person. That was the coach's decision. But you regardless, didn't care, the kneeing him. down thing, one, it was in preseason. <laughs> Who gives a rat's ass about yeah. preseason? And Do you think that his stock was falling so much? To knee, to kneel for the national anthem would rejuvenate his career and maybe give him better stock. Okay, Joe, you and I, we pretty much lived our whole life. I or you were born in Canada. I moved here. That's I've been right. In Canada for over thirty years now. Yeah. But we 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 stand for the national anthem because that's something that was taught to us throughout life. Right, you stand and honor the country. Not, hmm. not, not thing. And I know the Americans, the national anthem means a lot what more. What are you doing over there? Hey, here. What kind of noise are you making over there? Get your shit together. No, so, I, was, I was in the kitchen. You know what? To me, he jumped uh, on that um, mistake. He jumped on the yeah, mistake so, that he got so, caught so sitting down. Man, so they man, I mean, don't get me wrong. You stand for the national anthem. Out of respect, so on, no problem. Get it, you know. But what do they stand for the national hands don't have to do with your job? No. I give you a million dollars, you're going to do whatever the fuck I tell you to do. <laughs> well, well, you, then you shouldn't be mad at them kids from Michael Jackson because he gave them a million, he gave 20 million. But, uh, oh, okay. That's what a cock in the mouth takes, and that's what a cock in the mouth takes, then, you know? Listen, again, you're, <laughs> what you do on the field, what you do on the field should not, I, I don't know. You got to speak it to the mic, brother. I can't hear you. You're way further than me. I said, you, what you do on the field and how you behave off the field are two different things. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, again, so let's say Ray Rice. He's out of the NFL because he got caught beating the heck out of his fiance. Superman punched her in the face. Have you seen this footage? Well, Ray Rice punched yeah. the, oh, yeah, the dude that punched the guy, the lady in the face? In the elevator. Right. Okay. Then you got... That's then, a whole... But yeah, but that on. wasn't at work, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That wasn't that at work. Hold on. And then you have, then you have um, uh, the Nixon guy in Cincinnati in his college days beating up a girl at a restaurant because she probably said mm-hmm. the N-word, according to him. That's right. Okay. Then you have... Uh, uh, Hunt currently. Kareem Hunt, yeah. Kareem Hunt that got kicked out out of the res- uh, out of the Chiefs' uh, locker room because he pushed somebody and maybe kicked her. I didn't quite see who kicked her, but either way, right? And now he has a job. The difference is those things happen off the field. One guy has suffered a lot more than Kaepernick has suffered. Mm-hmm. Right, because he never got an opportunity again. Is that Ray Rice? Yeah, he didn't even get a CFL opportunity. Nothing. Nothing, because of what he did, mm-hmm. and he married the girl. And not I'm saying that what he did was correct. It obviously is not. It was super domestic violence. But other people have gotten an opportunity. <laughs> well, Kaepernick. Uh, well, to be honest with you, I'm sorry, I don't feel sorry for these dudes. You get what I'm saying? You you make a million right. dollars. Why do you need to put your hands on somebody? But so why you do you feel sorry for a guy to take a knee then? You know, he's taking a knee for the simple fact that people are dying, bro. You understand what I'm saying? People are dying. This country that's supposed to respect you and treat you right is treating you wrong. Okay, so since his knee, what? since his knee. I'm going to take a knee to that. Since his knee. I'm going to take a knee to that. But guess what? How much has shit changed? Bring the national. Oh, hold on. Let me finish. I didn't bring the national anthem into the football. So you know what I'm saying? I didn't bring it into the game. They brought it into the game. They brought the national anthem into the game. It's not about my job. Taking a knee ain't going to stop me from doing my job, is it? You yep. understand? Or punching some girl in the face and getting arrested and not be able to make it to the game, that's going to interfere with my job. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't understand how 
You, you get what I'm saying? I don't feel sorry. So for when you go to work, off the field and they act like fucking morons. So when you go to you work, know? you were you're an electrician back at the states, right? Yeah. And then they tell you not to do something a certain way and you keep doing it. What the fuck are they going to do? They're going to get rid of you, right? It, yeah. Right? Well, there's certain, there, come on. You got to do things a certain way. Well, that's, and that's the NFL, so you dude. Kill somebody, that's you the NFL. Kill somebody, you know what I mean? You can burn down somebody's house or you can kill yourself. So this is why those rules are there. You yep. get what I'm saying? But for the, standing for the national anthem, it's not a freaking rule, brother. Hold on. No, 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 no. It's not a rule in this game. You understand? The game already has its rules. Standing for the national anthem is a privilege. It's not a necessity. You got what I'm saying? Hold the on, privilege but if, is to stand for your country. And if your country ain't standing for you, then why should you... You got what I'm saying? Hold, hold on. Hold this on. This is the problem that you, you guys are having. No, you I don't have a problem with that. I'm lazy. I'd take a seat if it was up to me. National Football League. Hold on. Hold on. Do you go to sporting events? Um, That's a big giant no. Because he doesn't know no fucking bracket. Oh, fuck <laughs> Have you ever gone to a Buffalo Bills game? No, I never went to a Buffalo Bills game. Okay, what, what do you think happens? But I, have, but, I have been to, but I have been to a game before in my life. Yes, go ahead. Okay, what, 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 what would have happened if you would have sat down as the anthem's playing? Nothing. Nothing? I think about sitting down all the time. Where did you watch it? What can you do? But see, that's what I'm saying. Here, here's the funny thing. You, you're, you're, you're making this game seem bigger than what it is. Because, dude, when I grew up, you had to, they, they, they was asking you to do the national anthem in school. You and they still do. Saying? Stand up and do the national anthem. Yeah, they still do. They still do. You don't have to anymore. What? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we did that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This so so not getting picked up. Okay, um, he was uh, sitting. He was taking a knee, or he's sitting down because he was not respecting the police officers and the way they treated black African Americans. Correct. Yes. Yes. Correct. The national anthem, though, is for the people that defended your country. So you have the freedom to either sit or stand. Do you, do you know what I mean? What do you think, you're, you're, you're paying homage what do you think, to those people that are fighting over Iraq because people want the oil. Doing? They defended my li- I pay these dudes to take care of me. They're they supposed to watch me, brother. They're supposed to make sure nobody hurt me. They're killing me. You understand what I'm saying? And you y- act like this is just a, a recent event. You need to think. Okay, there okay, okay, okay. From fucking trees, bro. Okay, but there was you other. What I'm saying. Okay. Like stop. Okay. Bamboo. Like, really? Bam- don't justify it. You can't. You know what I mean? You no, know, no, I think no, you're no, over no, justifying no, it. No, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's been going on so long. Hold on. You okay. have to. You have to. You have to bow down. You have to say, you know what? Okay, but this hold on. Gotta stop. Hold on. Ed Reed. You know. His Ed Reed, his teammate, did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right? That's he right. did the same thing. He sat there. After the first time he did it, he took a knee down with Kaepernick next time. And he kept on doing it, even when Kaepernick was told not to do it. He basically continued doing it. Right? The difference is, Edry still had a contract. And so did Kaepernick. But he opted out of his contract. Right? Okay. So, here's the thing. Edry took his momentum and did something. Kaepernick was basically okay. saying, well, I'm not going to play. They're not starting me because I took a knee. And we all know why he doesn't start. No, no, no. no, no I, I, I'm not saying, I'm not, uh, hey. I just feel, you so, know. I, to like me, he said, took the. He had he, a contract. You, you, like you said, he had a contract and he opted out. Yes. That was his choice. That, that's, it. That's, that's, that's on him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you screwed yourself on that one, brother. You should have just. You know, yeah, because, in and whatever. Yeah, because no other, no other owners, you, no other owners, they don't want the blood publicity. But, okay, you know what? They well, didn't I, want the blood publicity. The but black, it's okay to watch hey, Channel Six News. Three black men just got shot. In well, what the fuck would there be on that on that channel See, if there wasn't any of that? <laughs> no, but okay, but you, what? You, you, <laughs> but what? You, you know what I mean? Like. That's we live in Canada. That's we that's don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can I ask you a question? Since he took a knee. What NFL player got killed? What NFL player got killed? Excuse me? What NFL player got killed? Who did that? Who did? I don't know what he's talking about. Hey, wife. 
<laughs> which one of them? Which one of them players got shot down there in the states uh, just recently? Oh, oh, yesterday in Canada, in Calgary, got shot outside the club. CFL player. Well, someone should have took a knee. He's a fucking CFL yeah, player. Well, he was. He wasn't on the field. He wasn't safe. He's only safe on the field when he's getting a million dollars. Well, if he's he yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the, the Canadian players don't get a million dollars. Yeah, they don't even get close. They, they get like 50000 no, so, Canadian, so, okay, okay. This, which is like 25 this, American. This proves my point. <laughs> so him taking a knee, nothing changed. No, but... Right? Mm. Right? Hold on. To me, he took... He could have done taking the knee. He could have opted out, but done something. Show more awareness. Yes, he did say he donated a whole bunch of his earnings of the thing to, you know, help out, but... I, I don't know. He just, to me, it, he was, I don't know. Watch this. I, I'm going to say. Describe, from, what you, from what you described to me, he made, he made a very bad business decision. Huge. Uh, opting out. Huge. He, he did. He, I, I think him opting out, yes, he has total right to take a knee. And as NFL players have the total, or NFL owners have the total right of basically saying, we want to sign you or not. Do you know what I mean? That's right. They have the right to say, you know, you know what? Yeah. You might bring some bad attention to our team that we don't need. Yeah, no, but what he's, what Bam is trying to and, say is, and, is it, is it bad attention? Is what is he? You're not looking at it as bad attention, right, Bam? His attention wasn't bad attention. That's right. No, but you if he, but if he, he switches just, teams, he was, using, he was just using the platform. He, he was using the platform to make money. That's right. Or something. You but, get what but, I'm saying? Carlos, I'm not trying to cause any bad publicity for no, you. No, no, if no. anything. It, 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 if anything, it would have made the NFL that much better. You get what I'm saying? Oh, they care. You get what I'm saying? But no, with the, the op, they did the total opposite. Hey, you don't take a knee. You're doing this. You're doing that. And, and, no, no, no. And I get it. I get it. Out of control. It spiraled out of control. And, and that's like, what it I'm is. Like, so minute. because the first thing you said to me was, well, you know, you know, the national anthem is for the military who who protects the country and so on and so on. Right, but here's a little fact for you. You know the military is paid to do their job, and that is to protect the country. So guess what? That national anthem is not for the military. That national anthem is for every person in that country. No, you but what I'm saying no, it's but they, not for the military because the military, the military have their own anthem. And every time you see a marine, when they look at each no, other, hold they on. Say, that's their fucking, that's their anthem. No, you but hold on, hold on, hold on. They start, they started putting in the, in the like in the baseballs and the football games. Back in World War One, to show that they are thinking about them, and they just drag, basically dragged on, and that's why it means in sporting the, events. It, it, it's the people. It's for the people. The people saying, "We see you." You see how you just explained it? We thinking about you. Okay, Bam. We're so thinking what, about what, the military what, so because we pay you because we pay you to send you out there. You get yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah. They so, pay. They shoot. Now, whatever. I get it. What did you say? So, what is your argument about the whole thing that that he should still be playing football for the NFL? No, from what you, from what he just told me, yeah, he, he ruined himself. He ruined himself on the NFL. Well, you know he got saying? offered a what was it? Out of hand. XFL and the NFL, the NFL. You know what I mean, by because because one team said you can't do this, another team said you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He went to sit down. They said take a knee. I think it was the NFL that told him oh. to take a knee. I don't know who told him to take a knee. I don't think it should be that big of a fucking deal. They, they allowed him to take a knee. I, 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 I think it, it is an it owner. Shouldn't have been a it shouldn't have been a problem. I think it is. You know what I mean? If they would have, if they would have left it alone, if they would have, honestly, I think if they would have left it alone, they would have faded. They wouldn't have got as much money. Yeah, but obviously, uh, obviously, uh, obviously, you know, the media likes to twist their own things and put their own things into it. You know, it got bigger when Trump said something about it too, though. That's true. You know what I mean? That's and he should have shut the hell up too. So he should have gotten involved. No, but either way, I, no. I, I personally think he should have just stayed <laughs> on the team, showed other teams that he could play, that he will not be a distraction, that he will not bring media, unwanted media to the team, and then there was a possibility he could have got a, another offer for a team. Yeah. Not, but now he's been offered no. he's been offered another league, and he refused it. And he's Yeah, because he's asking money that's not going to be given – and now, like these people, th these players are getting seventy five thousand US to play per game or per season. Per season, yeah. Right? He's asking for twenty million dollars mm -hmm. on a startup league. 
What startup league mm. is going to give him $20 million? Take the 75, do well, prove the league. The you, know, you know what? If he wanted to show that he could still play and, and, and he do it for the right things, he could have came up to Canada and fucking showed and everybody. Yeah. He could have showed. Okay, well, I have I a mean, question. I mean, I mean as, a, as an athlete, he needs, he needs to make decisions, you know, for, for him as an athlete. Okay, I got, I got, I got a question that's, for you guys. Question. I got a question for you guys. Do you think that if it would have been another athlete, like, you know, a bigger star, you know, a Von Miller, bigger star, top top five player, black player, would that him taking a knee, taking a big, made a bigger impact, would have made a bigger impact than what Colin Carp did? Probably, uh, let, let's say, let's say, uh, let, let, I'm, uh, like these the players you're talking about, I don't know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm just saying, I'm talking about a top I'm, five. I'm gonna refer, I'm gonna refer a player that I know. Let's say uh, Michael Jordan. Let's say Michael True. Jordan took a knee. Okay. Do you, how big how big of an impact do you think that would be? That's what I'm saying. Okay, but Michael Jordan taking a knee after the game, he also would have gone over there and explained why he took a knee. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. Where like, Kaepernick did not. Do you no give or take, even explaining or not explaining, it doesn't matter. I just find like when you, when you see a subpar player take a knee, he gets a bit hated on more than he should have, right? No, no. But he wasn't a subpar player. He was two years prior to that. He led the team to the NFL or to the Super Bowl. The year before that. Had nothing that, to do with their defense, but go ahead. The year before that, the uh, NFC Championship, even though some idiot fucked it up on a stupid fucking kickoff return. Okay, anyways. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I just think it would be more, you're right. Someone like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Von Miller. I, yeah, bigger yeah. names, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, you know, if LeBron. they would have took a knee, it would have had a bigger impact. You yeah. know what I mean? It would have had a bigger impact on a positive note. I think so. I absolutely agree. More positive. Absolutely agree. You, you see what I'm saying? It would have been more positive. I just find because it was him that, that did it. Someone like me was like, "Eh, fuck, dummy, stand up." Like that's how I felt. It had nothing to do with what his rights, if it was right or wrong. I was just like, okay, "Just throw, throw the goddamn ball. You're not that good." To, again, to me, I <laughs> don't. Ah, ah, see, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yes. He sucks. Why are you doing that? Yeah, da, yeah da, da, I don't want to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And and to be honest with you, if I was a team owner and I felt he sucked. I'd have been like, what the fuck is this problem? That's exactly, what I, that's what I personally think happened. Hold on, for, but to me, I, the, it's not about the fucking knee. I, I don't care if he took a knee or not. Uh, to me, was dummy, no, just no, stay no. in your contract, play it out. Even if the uh, even the 49ers would have released him, they're, you know, at least he's not the one saying, oh, I'm going to opt out, because uh, to me, half of it, it was over money. And... Him going to other startup leagues and saying, "I want twenty million dollars to play in your league," but everybody else is going to get seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand. But you need to give me twenty okay. million dollars. That's not right. So, so what, what, what did what did you think when when Nike endorsed him? When Nike endorsed him, mm-hmm. I thought about they should give me some of that money too. I, 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 <laughs> if, 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 if there's a Kaepernick shoe, I'm not buying it. Yeah, wait. When, when, when Nike you don't want a Kaepernick fro? What, what did you think of that? I, 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 I think they had no choice. I, I don't care about the advertisement. I don't even think it's as big as they thought. I think it was, it was bigger the, the, only reason the day why of. It's because it's on Times Square, is it not? What? Uh, Nike advertising? Yeah, it's yeah. in Times Square. No, just the, the, whole, the whole point of the fact that Nike... Went and sponsored this dude after LeBron he offered. He cause... opted out, as you put it. He opted out. He's not that good of a player. He opted out, and like, he went and sponsored him. How do you feel about that? I don't feel anything about I, it. I, I, hey, listen. Mm-hmm. He he got paid a lot of money for the settlement. No one ever found out exactly how much, right? No, but it's over sixty million dollars. Oh, what shit. settlement? He got he settled. Sued the, he sued the league. NFL. He sued the boycott. NFL. Do you think the NFL is going to give him a job? They, oh, for, 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 yeah, because he, he said that all NFL owners didn't want to sign it. You know what? The only chance he had to sign with the NFL team is out the window because he's going to jail. Robert Kraft. <laughs> he didn't do none. <laughs> Either way, he's going to jail, and that's the only team. And that was Leave the that old, old man alone. That's the only team that takes chances <laughs> on troublemakers. Leave that old man alone, man. But, hey, they, but Brady's near the end. Might as well bring Kaepernick. Oh, man. I would have got Robert the Kaepernick Kraft. jersey then, but no. Nope. What are you doing there, Robert? The guy went to jail. <laughs> or he's going to jail because he went to. Who's yeah. going to jail? What, the, the Patriots o- the, the owner. owner. The owner of the Patriots. 
got caught. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, human so trafficking. The man, the, the man went and got a little coochie. Why are you mad? Rub and tug. They massaged the wrong part of his body. Hey, I, that's not uh, me. Good for him. He, need, he needed a little rub. He needed a little rub down. You know, it's hard running those. The, it's hard. Do we even those think that shit works? <laughs> at his age, do you think? Do you think that shit works at his age? <laughs> Robert Kraft, man. Oh, no. He's not married? I'm telling His you. wife is dead. His Ooh. wife's dead? Well, then it's okay. But get a, go get, get a sugar mama or uh, nah, get, get an eye candy. No, nah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Get and an you, eye candy. No, nah, you're right. 100% right. No, it's true. Get an eye candy. So, go online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know, well to me, perfectly, uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I think it's, you know, it, it's divine justice in a sense because they sit there and they hold the players to you know, excellence and high standards for being on and off the field. Well, that's the Who privilege of playing there. Run around and act stupid. Well, that's the privilege of you know being I mean? a pro athlete, though. You know, it, no, no, you can't, you can't sit there and call the kettle black and sit there and run around and fucking do something stupid behind everybody's back. You know, he deserves what he gets. To be honest with you. But the players also deserve what they get because they're stupid. The who? The, the players. players. So, so does that owner. I mean, why is he, why is he in a massage parlor? I, I'm just saying, massage they, they, like, there's so many NFL players or hockey players or NBA players that go get caught doing DUIs. True. Running around with a shitload of marijuana in their, in their pants. Cocaine. Mm-hmm. Shooting themselves at Plaxico. Sh- shooting their, their, themselves in that club. You know, that, that's how stupid it is. You got a shitload of money. Bam. Enjoy it, but don't be stupid about yeah. it. Okay, well, guys, if you gave me a shitload of money, <laughs> you know I'll be the dumbest guy you know, right? <laughs> like, come on. Look what I've done with no money. <laughs> you, know? you know, some people yeah. are just... I mean, there's shit, a lot of... You're an owner. Shit you're an owner. You're making, you're making more money than the players. So why are you out there... Hey, is, getting, is, is, is the conviction... Is you the know con- what I mean? Like, it, it just don't make... It, it don't make no sense. But is the conviction... You know? He's not I mean, going to jail. You're no, making so much money, not. you can have a party and have all the Playboy bunnies there. You're right. And, you know, You're have right. fun. But is the conviction of him getting the rub and tug or being a part owner of it? I think it's being part owner. Yeah, I thought I thought so. I think I, I think I, Denny, I think if it is because he was part like, owner... But why the... You own the NFL franchise and he owns a majority of the UFC... And then you're going to own uh, 60% of a rub and tug. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he should have bought it. Then he couldn't get, unless he couldn't it's get a started. startup business back in the day, you know what I mean? Like, it was approved by Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, you know? I don't know. I Rich just say he should get a reelected. All right, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, see, see, what? Don't, why, why y'all talking about my boy Trump? No, like I don't that. know nothing about him. I can't yeah. get into him. I think he's doing good for the country besides the stupid wall. The wall? You know. Bam's all about the wall, uh, right? Uh, he ain't done he ain't done nothing wrong yet. Do you think yeah. he's okay anyways? Just to wrap today up, tonight up. Do you <laughs> think he'll get reelected? Do I think so? Yeah. Probably. If, 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 you know? if the Georges Actually, you, know what? I, you know what? I'm going I'm gonna say I think so. You know? If the... Remember when he got elected the first time we was in Cuba and I said he's gonna win. Okay, this this, this guy, this this I'm gonna tell you guys a story, right? So me and Bam are in Cuba, right? It was like what? It was a Tuesday. It was like November 5 or was it maybe 6, 7? It was a Tuesday. And remember, Bam, we go to that one book club down in Cuba with La Salsa. Is that what it was called? Uh, yeah, yeah. La Salsa. And we get a mm-hmm. little bit intoxicated. You know, it's a good time. Our boy Ernesto's there we're with Ivan. We're there with Jules. And we're there till probably 4 o'clock in the morning. I remember coming back to the room. Was it you that called me in my room saying, Yo, put on the fucking news, or was it Jules? I think uh, it was. I, I think, think it was Jules. I think Jules called me, and he's like, "Turn on the news." No, first the phone rang, and I panicked because I was like, "Oh man, we're gonna get kicked out of our room." And I pick up the phone, and Jules like, he's laughing like, hey, 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 "Turn on the news," and I'm like, "What the fuck's he talking about?" Turn it on, and Buddy's elected. And then I called you right yep. after, and you're like, "I fucking told you, I fucking told you." I was like, I "What the? Told you. This poor bastard, you Carlos." Know became an ambassador of the U.S. in Cuba. Remember the amount of people that asked you questions? That German lady that was next oh, to me? that's true. Holy that's true. shit. This, poor became a, about Trump? this guy was a politician <laughs> down in Cuba. And, and look, now the Americans are allowed down in Cuba. 
since Trump has been elected. No, that's not true, eh, man? You're still allowed technically no, if you come through still, here, right? Still allowed. Still allowed. Uh, he, he went, first of all, he got into Cuba no problem when we went, and he still wasn't technically. No, no. See, and, and there, that's a misconception that Carlos has, you know, that Americans got to jump through hoops to go to Cuba. You don't have to jump through hoops. There's just no flights, right? I, ask, I, I ask everybody the same question. Have you ever heard a Cuban official on national TV say that Americans are not allowed in Cuba? No. No, but the Americans do not allow their citizens to go to Cuba. So that's why you don't have flights out of oh, the U.S. So in since Cuba. When, since when your country can tell you where you can go? Well, if they're not going to give you a flight out, it's pretty, you know. No, the, did, oh, did you find a package out of the U.S.? Did, did you find a package out of the U.S.? That's what I thought. You came to Canada to, to fly down there. there. They can't do that. You, what they can do is they can sanction every company that goes to that country. That's what they can do. You get what I'm saying? You know what how I mean? are, so how? they did was told every airline, you can't go to Cuba. So guess what? If there's no flight to Cuba, you ain't going to Cuba, correct? No, they say you can't fly to Cuba if you're coming out of the U.S. US. Yeah, that's so why he came out of here with you us. You can't because, because, no, because no companies yeah. was allowed to fly there. What's well, a good and way of stopping your citizens from going is what we're saying. Companies. Yeah, but all you have to do is fly down to Miami, take the hour boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's deporting them. <laughs> Hop on that one. <laughs> and then you'll be up walking with open go, arms. Or you, can, or you can go up to Buffalo, cross the border in Montreal, or go, you know, and just okay. fucking jump on the next plane out. Now, now. Why you, would you go to Montreal? Because you can fly out. You can fly out from Montreal. But did, Cuba. how did they, how did you, like, you, like, I was there. Just let people know. How were you received in Cuba as an American? How many people? How, how were you were? received over there as a, as an American? How huge? How how were you received? You know, by the Cubans when you showed up in Nothing Cuba. But love. It is. It was, but I love. remember that. They're nice people. They fuck. They didn't give a shit about me, but they love this guy. Nothing right? but love. Yeah, it was. I thought he was Cuban. No, not at all, man. Mm-hmm. Not at all. With the, with the way nope. he talks, nope. definitely they don't know. He, they knew he were from there. And then, you know, he, they loved him at the flea market. They loved me at the flea market, too. Oh, you a piece of meat at the flea market. Fuck, I hate the flea market. Yeah. I don't want to go to the flea market. I like to save money and stay at the resort. Trust me, the sights of the goodies were great at the flea market. But holy shit. Was it, oh, was it a brothel? Or a, no, uh, no, no. A bro, a no, 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 no. It's just a bunch of beautiful <laughs> Cuban <laughs> women. Did you say it was a brothel there? <laughs> That's why I said, was it owned by Robert Kraft? No, 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 man. It was crazy. It was crazy. The only, the only, there's two things I hate about Cuba. The fucking food at the resort. Good fuck off. And number two, I'm tired of paying for toilet paper. Ain't paying for toilet paper. <laughs> when you're not on the resort. Oh, oh my yeah. God, man. They always send the bitchiest old lady just tapping on the glass. Give me my dollar. You know, I don't like that shit. Just take a fucking roll of toilet paper. They don't give a room. shit. They, they want you flush, you pay. One, I asked a girl one time, did you shake my dick? No. Remember that, Bam? I was like, what the hell? <laughs> did you shake it? No. Leave me the fuck alone, you know? Yeah. I hate it. That uh, was the I only place. You, get, I your own, get your own toilet paper. Bring it with you. Walk by and go, I'm using this toilet. You know? Yeah, but then they'd be like, ah, 50 cents for flushing. They're so there's weird over there. They're weird over there. All right, Bam. We're going to be out, bro. It was nice talking to you. No. We're gonna, all right. All right. All right, man. Uh, I'll catch you in a I'll couple weeks. So, so, what, the next podcast is what? About the madness? The yeah, the March football, Madness. Football, basketball. What's yeah. the deal? March Madness should be next Sunday. Uh, I'm going to have a couple people mm-hmm. here filling out brackets. Uh, I know a bit about it. I'll learn much about it after then, hopefully. These guys are pros, bud. Yeah, we got Carlos Wynn got the pros, so maybe uh, the guy does nothing but watch uh, college football or college basketball. Well, he, college uh, football it too. Doesn't, it, <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't matter. This oh, guy. Oh, college. Yeah. The, well, who's the guy? That, who's the guy that had the Nike split open while a Zion Williams. Zion Williams. Is he any good? He's not going to be drafted number one. He's the number one draft. He's going to be drafted number one once the draft comes in. Yeah. Oof. So he's good at being. Yeah, he's good. I, I Carlos you. hates Duke to death. I hate Duke. Even though his mic color right now is blue, he hates Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get a baby we blue. Like the, we don't like the blue devils. No, kid. but Tar Heels. Oh, yeah. but Tar Heels. What's the matter with you? Yeah, you know, whatever. I'm whatever. And, you know, and it, bugs, it bugs me, too, that you're sitting there and you're loving the sports and the stakes and shit. Why don't you support some of these Canadian teams, motherfucker? Obviously. I do support a Canadian mm-hmm. team. The Senators. 
<laughs> oh, you know. I, I, I support the stupidest oh, okay. owner in the whole entire, it doesn't matter what <laughs> division of sport you play in. The stupidest owner. Yeah. We could have a whole conversation about that idiot one day. Yeah, we might we might bring that up. That might be a good topic. <laughs> trust, trust me, the amount of jerseys that I did not counterfeit that I actually pay full of price for those damn jerseys. Yeah, he's an idiot. Or the goddamn <laughs> boxers or the oh, PJs. Jesus Christ. See what you started? You saw what you started, Bam? I know. God. Well, it seems like this like it seems like Connell's is a sports nut, so you know, I'm thinking a couple of sport podcasts and just let him fucking go off. Oh, you, you, know you, you don't want to hear my rant about some stupidity shit. And I'm on no TS. His favorite goalie is Greg Anderson. Oh, fuck yeah, that idiot. <laughs> you pay a 36-year-old almost $5 million to stop the net, stop the fuck. puck going into the net. But for some reason, there's five goals happening against us every single day. Man, he's a good goalie. I like him, but he don't like him. But $4.75 million they pay this idiot. That's good money, man, for a goalie. Good. It's <laughs> good. Don't look at me like, like that. Well, how, how much the money man, does Murray that, make? He's got know. experience. Experience? What? As a backup? Oh. That he was a backup all his yeah, life. Yeah, he came yeah. here, became a starter, a superstar. I fucking kicking my ass. And one of our buddies could probably stop more pucks. Here we go. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all right, stop getting him going, man. Don't get stop me going, boo. <laughs> all right, Bam. Carlos, right. man. Nice talking right. to you guys, man. We'll catch you in a couple weeks. And, uh, Tell your wife we say hi. And uh, have a good night, guys. Peace. Send the lobster over. All right. Peace, guys.